Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out a custom solar system object. We haven't had one of these in a while, a new modded custom solar system object. But today we have got one for a planet that we've never actually had a uh, proper modded variant for. That being our own planet, Earth. So if we look at the current Earth, here it is. This is just the bog standard one. I mean the only modification to this I believe was uh, atmosphere colour that I've made to it in the more recent versions. But... If I open the menu here, and yeah, massive thank you to Siren for sending this in from Discord. And this is actually following sort of a request I made um, in the last video when um, I was showing you guys part one of all my custom objects here. And that was an Earth, but with more clouds. Check this out. So if I place it there, look at that. Look how many more clouds this has. Because the one thing that people have always said about the Earth in this game is, it doesn't have enough clouds. As we can see, obviously you can see a lot down to the ocean there. So it's quite a clear sort of day everywhere in the world here. But if we look at this new modded Earth, it's a lot more cloudy around the whole board. So yeah, check this out. I'll go ahead and auto orbit around the sun as well. Because actually, I'd, I wouldn't mind having a little uh, play around with this, trying to have a little play over the atmosphere and stuff. But yeah, check it out. So it's obviously got the normal blue atmosphere, but obviously the main thing done to this guy is the clouds. I mean, let's just take a moment to just look how many more clouds there are. It looks so much better. With the enhanced clouds on it, I have to say. I think it looks really cool. So, massive well done to Siren for uh, putting this together. And, yeah, massive thank you to him as well. Because that was per my request when I asked in that previous video. So, yeah, what do you guys think of that? I've got to say, it does look really good. So, what we can do... Obviously, this is fully customizable. So, we could have these clouds, in theory, any colour we wanted. But I think if I customise them, it ruins the effect. So, as we can see, I think that may have actually just ruined it. So, if we compare that again to the uh, version here... Yeah, that 100% has uh, lowered the clouds, I would say, overall on that. So you can't actually modify the colour of the clouds by the looks of it. But we should still be able to have a little play of the atmosphere, actually. So I think I'm going to have a little look into that. So also you can enhance the atmosphere, make it look more blue. So it's got, obviously, the uh, super blue atmosphere now, but it still has all the white clouds underneath it. I mean, yeah, you could probably make a really sort of cool-looking Earth. I'm probably going to experiment around with the colours a bit to try and get it, try and make it absolutely perfect. But I reckon... Yeah, you can make this thing look really cool. I mean, look how good it looks with all white. I mean, very, very cloudy Earth. Look at that. I've got to say, that does look really cool. Obviously, we could make, like, a future Earth where it's looking more toxic or something. I mean, that, that you, there's... Yeah, that does look really, really awesome. So, yeah, just a nice little showcase video for a new modded solar system object. Because we haven't... Yeah, we've not had a, a modded solar system object. Now, I'm thinking that sort of blue does look quite good. I mean, look at all the clouds underneath as well. Obviously... We could have a little play with the oceans as well, make them obviously brighter or darker. I mean, yeah, this is this is awesome. We could have a super sort of enhanced earth with the clouds, the ocean colours. I mean, that does look pretty cool. Obviously, I'd probably have a custom one of mine dimmed down a bit. But now we've got a uh, modded earth, finally. I think that means every single planet in the solar system I now have a modded variant for. So if we look in the menu here. So obviously, I've got a Mercury, a Venus. There's the original earth, I had to say. We've got Mars. That one was modded. We've got a Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and a Neptune now. So, yeah, all uh, all eight planets, all of the eight main planets, we now have a modded variant for. So that sort of opens the question, do you guys want to see me make a video of the sort of most realistic custom solar system possible, of all of the realistic variants of each planet? What do you guys think of that? I think that could be... I think that could be quite a good video. So, yeah, let me know you guys' um, thoughts on that. Should I do it? Should I make, like, an ultra-enhanced realistic solar system now we've got the Earth? Um, fully specced up and obviously there's gas giants and stuff that I haven't actually added into my own systems yet all of the mega banded gas giants down here I've not actually used these in simulations yet so I think it's about time we get them out the toy box and put them in a proper system and have an ultra realistic system I say so yeah what do you guys think of that let me know down below but yeah that just does it for today's video guys just a nice little short showcase video of this new customer and I've got to say I really like the shade of blue I picked for it I may actually keep it like that. I think that's looking really, really cool. But yeah, guys, a massive thank you for watching today's video. Again, a massive thank you to Siren for sending me this modded Earth with all of these extra clouds on. A huge, huge thank you. That really, really nice job, man. It looks it looks really cool. So yeah, really, really awesome stuff. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys, for this new custom modded Earth. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.